The night felt heavy as I watched my boyfriend, a seasoned officer, sift through the pages of my private journal. The weight of his discovery hung thick in the air, a list from 2019 containing the names of my past lovers. In those moments, the silence between us spoke volumes, pregnant with questions, accusations, and uncertainties. Our shared history, once a source of camaraderie, now seemed to bind us in an intricate web of complexities. Both former police officers, we had traversed the corridors of law enforcement in our youth, each bearing scars from our past. My own journey, marked by moments of recklessness and passion, now laid bare before him. The realization hit hard. I had unknowingly treaded into his territory, engaging in intimate liaisons with individuals from his workplace years before our paths intertwined romantically. What once seemed distant memories now surfaced with an uncomfortable clarity, casting shadows on the present. I struggled to convey the truth that there had been no malice in my actions, no intent to deceive. Yet, his demeanor spoke volumes of hurt and betrayal. He confessed to his motives, his belief that things were too good to be true. And in his search for reassurance, he stumbled upon a relic of my past, buried within the digital confines of my private journal. Caught in the crossfire of emotions, I grappled with where to begin, how to untangle the knots of misunderstanding and mistrust that threatened to suffocate us. The weight of his scrutiny, coupled with the echoes of my own insecurities, left me reeling. But amidst the turmoil, a glimmer of hope flickered, a beacon of possibility amidst the storm. For beneath the layers of pain and resentment lay the foundation of our love, a love tested by the trials of the past, yet resilient in its pursuit of understanding and forgiveness. And so, as the night stretched on, we faced the daunting task ahead, not as adversaries, but as partners in a journey towards reconciliation. For in the heart of chaos lies the opportunity for growth, and in the depths of despair, the promise of redemption. Needless to say, this figure is much higher than I had reported to him earlier. I cannot escape the feeling that this was a blatant invasion of my privacy. I don't want to make excuses, but from the age of five my uncle had viciously abused me, awakening an unhealthy interest in men within me. At a tender age, I entered into active relationships with many men, unable to remain faithful to just one. This path seemed easy to me, considering my attractiveness. I craved the approval of men, and the thrill of new acquaintances lured me more than intimacy itself. In the golden age of Craigslist, I stepped onto the dangerous path of escorting. By the age of 21, I had slept with more than 263 men. I remembered this number well, as it was proof of my safety a couple of incidents that nearly cost me my life made me rethink my way of life. It was then that I decided to change everything. Curiously, during that time I had an affair with a married police officer who was one of my clients. Initially, when he suggested I pursue a career in law enforcement, I shrugged off the idea. Yet, as my early 20s unfolded, I found myself drawn to that very path. Soon enough, I ascended to become one of the most sought-after individuals in the force, a position I never imagined myself in. Despite warning myself against intertwining professional duty with personal inclinations, I eventually succumbed to the allure. The turning point emerged during a seemingly innocuous gathering hosted by a fellow officer, where camaraderie swiftly transformed into a scene of unrestrained indulgence. What commenced as a casual party metamorphosed into a whirlwind of uninhibited desires. I found myself entangled in liaisons with colleagues, blurring the lines between camaraderie and carnality. These clandestine encounters occasionally extended to involve their significant others, a dangerous game of intimacy and intrigue. Yet, amidst the thrill, a toxic undercurrent began to pervade the force. Jealousy simmered beneath the surface, 
poisoning the once vibrant camaraderie. Sensing the encroaching toxicity, I made the difficult decision to sever ties with the force, seeking refuge in the security of a management role within a private firm. With this transition came a newfound determination to break free from the tumultuous past. I resolved to confront the lingering scars of childhood trauma and purge myself of the shadows cast by past indiscretions. Embarking on a journey of self-reckoning, I sought solace in therapy, striving to rebuild myself on a foundation of resilience and self-discovery. Maintaining a journal had been a steadfast companion throughout my life, a faithful confidant through the peaks and valleys. Within its pages, I chronicled not only the mundane minutiae of daily existence, but also the tumultuous landscape of my intimate encounters and relationships, a candid testament to both triumphs and regrets. It served as a mirror reflecting my journey, including the darker alleys I had traversed. Like the regrettable stint as an escort, now a chapter one yearned to close. After three years of diligent effort and unwavering commitment to therapy, I sensed a profound transformation taking root within me, a rebirth, a shedding of the past's weight. With newfound clarity and resolve, I dared to envision a future untethered from the shadows that once ensnared me. Yet, fate had a curious way of testing my resolve. At a security conference brimming with possibility, I encountered a man whose presence sparked an unexpected intrigue within me. But as our connection deepened, a sobering realization dawned. I stood on the precipice of entwining my life with someone whose roots intertwined with my past, a past I had strived to leave behind. Faced with the choice to disclose or conceal, I opted for the latter, skimming the surface of my history with the police department, hinting at the turbulent departure I preferred to bury. Despite my attempts to erect barriers, he persisted, his unwavering pursuit chipping away at my defenses. Reluctantly, I acquiesced to his advances, tentatively embracing the prospect of a shared future. As we embarked on tentative steps toward companionship, I found myself drawn to his warmth, his integrity, and the steadiness of his presence, a beacon of light in the murkiness of my past. With each passing moment, I allowed myself to entertain the notion that perhaps, just perhaps, redemption lay within the embrace of another. His jubilation knew no bounds when I welcomed him into my world, eagerly anticipating the day when our lives would intertwine seamlessly. As he painted vivid pictures of introducing me to his inner circle, a shadow of doubt lingered in the recesses of my mind. I couldn't shake the knowledge that his friends bore witness to the echoes of my past a past I had painstakingly concealed beneath layers of secrecy. For six months, we danced around the unspoken truths, basking in the glow of newfound love while tiptoeing around the skeletons in my closet. The weight of silence grew heavier with each passing day until, at last, I summoned the courage to unveil the ghosts of my past, a revelation met with unexpected grace and understanding. In his eyes, my past was just that, a collection of chapters preceding our shared journey. He refused to tether our future to the shackles of yesterday, embracing me with unwavering devotion and acceptance. Emboldened by his unwavering support, I threw myself wholeheartedly into nurturing our burgeoning connection, convinced that love had finally found its home in our hearts. The joy of impending parenthood brought a new dimension to our bond, a testament to the depths of our commitment. Yet, as we stood on the cusp of a new chapter, fate unfurled its cruel hand. A simple announcement to his friends spiraled into a whirlwind of betrayal, as the shadows of my past emerged from the depths of secrecy to cast a pall over our bliss. In a moment of recklessness, fueled by alcohol and misplaced anger, he unleashed a tempest of fury shattering the fragile tranquility of our sanctuary. The sanctity of our home was violated as he tore through my belongings, uncovering the damning evidence of my past indiscretions, a revelation that ignited a powder keg of emotions, leaving us both reeling in its wake. In the aftermath of his hurtful tirade, 
I found myself engulfed in a maelstrom of anguish and confusion, grappling with the shards of trust shattered by his cruel words. The wounds inflicted cut deep, leaving scars that mar the very fabric of our once harmonious union. His venomous accusations, laced with disdain and regret, reverberated in the hollow chambers of my heart, each syllable a dagger plunged into the tender flesh of our bond. The foundation we had painstakingly built crumbled beneath the weight of his insecurities, leaving us adrift in a sea of uncertainty. Despite his initial declaration of indifference, a glimmer of hope flickered within me as he tentatively extended an olive branch, expressing a desire to salvage what remained of our fractured relationship. Yet, the chasm that yawned between us seemed insurmountable, a gaping maw of doubt and distrust that threatened to swallow us whole. In my desperation to mend the rift, I proposed the beacon of couples therapy, a lifeline to guide us through the tumultuous waters ahead. But his steadfast refusal to engage in this lifeline only served to deepen the chasm, widening the schism between us until it seemed irreparable. Caught in the throes of indecision, torn between the prospect of co-parenting in the wake of our shattered love and the faint glimmer of hope for reconciliation, I find myself at a crossroads, unsure of which path to tread. With each passing moment, the weight of uncertainty presses down upon me, a heavy burden I carry alone, shielded from the prying eyes of friends and family who remain oblivious to the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. In the stillness of the night, as I wrestle with the ghosts of doubt and regret, I am left with one burning question echoing in the recesses of my mind. What should I do?